Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm in Benidorm at what some say is the best water park in Spain. I'm at Aqualandia in Benidorm. Now this has the world's highest capsule drop ride. Whether or not I'll be going on that, I'm not quite sure. Now what I've done today is actually to get it a little bit cheaper, I've gone in the afternoon. It makes it about 5% cheaper than it would be for the rest of the day. So it's actually definitely worth coming. And you don't get as many people. Now this is only the, I think it's the third day of opening for the 2023 season. So let's go and check it out. So cool by the water. Thank you. I haven't seen many water parks with flowers like this. Look at that. That is beautiful. So the lockers are fairly pricey actually. It's nine euros for a big one, six euros for a small one. actually allow you to take your phones and in the water they've got these little cases that waterproof your phone would you trust that though all right we need to get a locker <laughs> select the type of Whoa. locker how loud no. pay with a contactless card bills or coins provide. provide us with a backup phone number yeah but my phone will be in there oh i don't have a backup phone number but okay <laughs> review the instructions Click finish and collect your ticket. 543. Don't forget to pick up your ticket. Thank you. So it gives me a pin and I've got to remember that pin? How? How, do, how am I going to remember that number? I, I'm going to have to take this with me or hide it somewhere. If it's your first time to a water park, you never know where to start. I'm going to start over here. We'll go on a few rides. The cyclone looks amazing. I think this is the wave pool. It's a lazy river, but without inflatables. That's a bit random. Is that supposed to be like that? There's that capsule ride I was talking about. The tallest in the world. See, this time of day, it's very early in the season, but look at this, there's plenty of sunbeds. So just checking out where we are right now, that's where we are, Atlantic Surf. There's the Vertigo drop. There's a couple of big slides over here, including Cyclone. Uh, there's some pretty cool stuff over here, actually, which I'll come to in just a little bit. But first, let's go and check this area out over here. I'll tell you what, you've got a lot of stairs to go up there. Blimey, you have to be fit. By the time you get up there, you'll be absolutely exhausted. I haven't been here for a while. Let me know in the comments if this is not supposed to have them inflatables or because people are just walking it which is a bit random no idea what this is the only letdown with this ride if you're a single person you kind of have to share it with other people and you have to get a little bit intimate across your legs some rides you can't go on as a single rider unless you're with somebody else look how high that is Worst thing about this is how many stairs you've got to climb to get to the top. So the problem with this at the moment is that that machine that takes them to the top is not working. So they're getting people to actually walk them up those stairs. No thanks. Now, unfortunately, I can't film on there. Oh, what a shame. But uh, I do have a few back problems, so I don't think it'd be wise to go on there but there's a slightly smaller one to the left and the one to the right just goes up that little bit higher. Now there's not many rides where you get a crowd of people waiting for someone to go on it, like they are right now. I think there's one guy, oh, he, he ain't going all the way to the top, he's going on the green one. Yeah, I don't think I can go on that. See the slides go up in height there. 
This one though can be quite painful, especially as you come off it, because as you come off the slide, there's an actual dip at the end, which can really pull you back out. Now, as you know, I do like to go to the odd water park, but one thing I'm not a big fan of is walking around a water park, taking your flip-flops off, leaving them somewhere, and then walking on this stuff, because this is like crazy paving back in the UK, and it really hurts your feet. I know it's got to be non-slip, but they could make it a little bit softer. This is what you like to see when you go to a water park. Approximate wait in time, zero. I'm sure in the, in the main summer this probably gets really busy, but at the moment, not many. It does remind me a little bit of Siam Park. It's in a lot of lush vegetation. I like the fact that there's loads of picnic areas in the shade. Let's head on zigzag. Definitely keeps you fit walking around all these slides because they're so far away from each other. That, the slides are sunken into the ground and you go through the forest it's pretty cool Whee! if you're a big fan of jacuzzis one huge jacuzzi is going on down there let's go and check it out if you're wondering why it's so quiet, it is only the second day of opening of the season. It's well late in the afternoon and I chose to come here because I knew it would be quieter. Because I've been here before in the peak of the summer and literally been on two rides for the whole day. All right, I need to get in this jacuzzi. Look at that, that is insane. This area is pretty good, so the jacuzzis continue. There's a couple of deep slides with big drop-offs. There's a few jumping points, and those people holding on to those going across the water. That is so hard to do. Laguna Beach. Don't get many of these areas in water parks. There's a couple of like high dive jump off points that never look that high when you're down here, but when you're up there, they are really high. So it doesn't look high from down there, up here. That looks really, really high. I've tried to do this. This is actually really difficult, holding your own body weight. The amount of people that fail straight away, you've obviously got to try to get all the way to the end. And if you don't give yourself much of a push, you'll probably stop in the middle. So you're going to make it? No. Five o'clock in the afternoon, although you wouldn't believe it, would you? Bar's still open. Bit of a picnic area up here. This is why the sunbeds are empty. People are deciding to sunbathe on the grass. It's cheaper. Don't have to pay for it. This is called Giza. And I guess all you do is uh, just walk around and cool off, I guess. I'm probably the only person walking around in here in a t-shirt. Well, I'm not sure whether it's the best in Spain, and it certainly isn't the biggest, but it does actually pack quite a punch when it comes to slides for a water park. And there's some pretty impressive ones in here. I paid £26 to come here early June. Like I say, it's probably cheaper if you come in the afternoon after three o'clock. And actually, it's also a little bit quieter as well. Do give the video a thumbs up. If you want to see more water parks, how about Dubai here or 
the biggest one and best one I think definitely in Spain which is in the Canary Islands Sayan Park click here do give the video a thumbs up make sure you hit that subscribe button I'll see you next time